Today, I'm going to show you how to create this pop-in text effect without having to worry about keyframes at all. I'm also going to leave a download for the free preset in the description below, so make sure to check it out. Now let's create this effect. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create our text captions. So I'm going to come up to text, go to transcript, click this create captions button, and we're just going to bring these to the beginning change the lines from single and click create captions okay now that we have our captions created i'm just going to highlight over all of them and i'm just going to change some of these properties for the text i'm going to change the alignment to the middle and i'm going to change the font and i'm also going to change the font size i want to make sure they all fit in frame i'm also going to get rid of the periods after some of the text and i'm going to get rid of the shadow for the text as well now once that all looks good i'm going to highlight over the text come to the top where it says graphics and titles and click upgrade caption to graphic. And now we can add our effects onto the text. Okay, so I'm gonna come up to the effects and search pop. And you're gonna see this FI pop motion impacts. You're just gonna drag that onto the front of your text. And now you're gonna click on it and come to the effect controls. And now we're gonna change some of the effects. First thing we're gonna change is the frequency. We're gonna change it from two to three. Change the amplitude from 60 to 25. Change the decay from 100 to zero. Change the fade from 25 to 50. And change the motion blur from 45 to 100. We want the motion blur to be maxed out. And you can see it takes pretty long to pop in and it kind of bounces a little too much right now. And that's just because we need to make this shorter. So we're gonna come up here and just drag this. I think something like that might look good. And now if I play this, you can see that quick pop in. And that is how you easily create this pop in text effect. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to apply it to all of the text. So for this, you're gonna need that free plugin. So make sure to download it from the description below. Okay, so what we wanna do is come up to the effects and search pop again. But this time, since you downloaded the preset, you'll see cinematic nick dash pop in and out, no keyframes. Just drag that onto your text. And you can see it's already the perfect size, not too fast or too slow. And you just wanna drag that onto all of your text. So now if I play it, it looks something like this. You can see that quick pop in text effect. And another cool thing you could do, if you drag this preset to the end of the text, it's gonna make it pop out as well. So if I drag all of these to the end, if I play this now, all of that text is popping out at the end. So you get two effects with this preset. You get the pop in and the pop out. All you have to do is either drag it to the beginning of the text or the end of the text. Anyways, that's gonna be the end of this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you wanna see more tutorials soon. Also, I just released my cinematic text preset pack. It has 50 plus animations and effects just like the one I showed you today, and they are all drag and drop. So there's no need to mess with any keyframes at all. I also included 50 fonts in this pack as well to level up your text and caption game. This pack is on sale right now. I'm gonna leave the link in the description so you can check it out. Otherwise, that's gonna be the end of this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.